guys welcome back to my channel it is sunday april 3rd it's about 7 30. um the sun is still out i just got back to my parents house from austin and i am getting ready for the week ahead i have a couple of things on my to-do list that i wanted to um get done today i wrote it down on my phone i'm looking it on my ipad i wanted to shave my face um remove these lash extensions i have an appointment on the 7th um i have to do another exercise my boyfriend and i started 75 hard today and we ran this morning at about 10 o'clock and now um i need to fit in another exercise and i'll probably do that after i do like all this stuff um, and then I have some schoolwork stuff that I just kind of want to look over and make sure because we only have about six weeks left, I think, maybe closer to eight, but um, six true weeks left of my classes. And then what is a requirement is that we have to do observation hours. And so there's only like eight weeks left of like school that I can get those observation hours. And I don't think that they let you do summer school. I started reading A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson probably on like Friday night or something like that and I am about like that's my dog ears so I'm going to listen to it on Scribd. I saw that there was um the audiobook so I'm gonna listen to it on there as I shave my face. Just going to get ready to shave my face. I tried to get the audiobook to play but um, if you've ever used Scribd, it's a really cool um, like audio and ebook service, and it's like unlimited audio and ebooks um, for $9.99 a month. So it's pretty cool in the way that you know with Amazon and Audible, um, they have a you know a huge selection, but you can only listen to like one book a month. Otherwise, you're paying um, like I don't know. I'm sure it's really expensive. Um, but with Scribd, of course, you get unlimited, but the catch is that it's not really unlimited. You're only able to listen to about, um, maybe four or five, I would say, and that includes e and audiobook. And so if you get to the point in which you say you finish, then you can't listen to you know certain titles or like basically the books that you would want to listen to until the next billing cycle mine is in on the 11th of april so like next week or yeah next monday um which is fine i have the text copy but i thought it would just be interesting to listen to the narration of it but that's fine and i kind of think they cheated me i don't think i listened to but i did yeah because i finished um, Danny Brown and I listened to Open Water but that's it that was only two unless I'm like thinking um, something else but I wasted an audible credit on the to paradise what I do is I put on this skin therapy oil for the Palmer's brand on my face to just create kind of like that slick surface and then I go in with a razor and I just do a downward motion and I try to do this about once a month um I just think it makes my makeup go on smoother and I notice that I have a lot less breakouts when I do this I have a really bad problem with whiteheads at certain times like I don't know I used to think it had to do something with like the products that I was applying but I think that's just the nature of my skin so I'm going to go ahead and shave my face all right, so I just finished um, trimming up my eyebrows a little bit. They don't look perfect. I actually am not mad at this one, I think, but this one is always easier to do. The tail on this one is so hard to define, but I feel like I'm about to go wipe my face with a makeup wipe, and I think that was all that I had to do here. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys my Telfar bag, my new Telfar bag. I got a red one and I made a video about it. Um, and then once I felt like I cracked the code to like get one, I got two more over the course of March. So I'm going to go unbox the one that I had and then I'll show you the one that I had been using and carrying for spring break. Okay, so 
so I'm back. I just put on a mask. Y'all are probably like, what is she doing? But I just thought that I would put this mask on really quickly as I unboxed the, um, the Telfar I wanted to show you guys. It is the Teeny Detox Max. It's actually the exact same brand as the tea that I'm drinking. I had no idea that they were even related. Um, and it is matcha, lemongrass, and clay. So, like I was telling you guys, I have kind of struggled with whiteheads. And I was thinking that maybe something like this would help. So, I have the box. I actually got this on Friday. Um, but I was heading out and I wasn't going to be wearing it this weekend so I didn't try to unbox it then but um I'm here now and I thought it would be cool to show you I, and I have this bag in the same size and white I decided to go up a size and get to the medium I think the small is really cute I carried it um over spring break but it's just so small I'm happy that I got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I really want to get almond shaped acrylic, but I just think my nails would be so busted up if I did that. Um, so I got the medium size brown. I have a the red little small shopping bag, and then I have a medium white one. I'm gonna show you guys after, just because I already have that one and I didn't unbox a full video, so I just thought I would do a full one for this. Um, it's much bigger. I mean, like, off the bat. I think there probably could be one more size in between. Um, and this is a dust bag. And here it is. I had been wanting a brown one. Um, brown is, like, my go-to bag color. Even though I've been carrying that Marka Jacobs bag, like, a lot. And this is what it looks like. It is so cute. It's just like the perfect. This is actually like perfect for me because this is just like the brown that I always wear. I had a Michael Kors. I actually had like three um, just throughout the years of this particular brown. My wallet is this brown. Um, and I just the one thing with a Michael Kors is that um, they kind of don't have. Well, I haven't shop there and I don't have a, a carried a bag from there in a long time but when I would be looking there they didn't have a full tote and um I would just always have a lot of stuff to carry and I'm like man I really need a tote I just need a big open bag and really my Mark Jacobs bag isn't that big I actually think that I would like to get a bigger size in that one as well I just am just realizing that I'm a big bag girl because I just put everything in it and um I even had a bag from the Strand bookstore that was like my tote for months and I wish I could have got a bigger one. So this is huge and this color just, it is just the color. I mean this, I have so many bags that are this color. It has a larger strap that go, goes on your shoulder, goes over your shoulder. Handbag strap and this one does have like the clasp on the inside. It is silver um and it has a pocket within that you can put you know stuff inside which i really like the smaller bag does not have any of that it's so small i'm just gonna stand up so you guys can see the size and everything okay. so here it is it is really big on me i'm five one um and it's just so it's actually kind of too big i carry it over the shoulder i carry all my bags over the shoulder um especially this strap is so long the straps on the telfars are not adjustable at least not the shopping bags so you know if you don't have a lot of length here it's gonna be down here so this is the first one that i have i made a dedicated video to it as you can see it's so small i actually think it's so cute it's just really really small and i think it's a good staple bag like if you're wearing um one color you could throw a red with it and i wore this one actually a lot on vacation because you know i'll just bring um, my wallet and that's it it cannot fit my phone i have the pro max um so it it's, does not fit but yeah i like it i like the quality and the red is really vibrant and then i got the blue color this is like an off-white i actually think that it pulls pretty true white um but they actually dropped white like within two weeks or something like that but i think it's pretty 
it's like a decent close white i'm not mad at it i like it a lot um this to me is just like straight up summer spring so um i'll be carrying this a lot and it traveled well carried everything didn't get any stains on anything that was what i was worried about because it's just white so i didn't want to get any stains but i'm kind of looking at my white pillows compared to this so i can definitely see a difference but i really enjoyed it um only thing is that these bags do kind of like this is the bottom and it has a flap because that's how it is you know packaged and shipped to you so but i just fill it and then the kind of dent goes away and then of course my last one my brown one which i just love this one this one is so me like i just it just reminds me of like all the bags that I've carried in like high school and in college, like just like a going out bag or whatever, or just running errands and it's just perfect. I just love it. It's the brown is like the exact brown that just reminds me of like the kind of bags I like. So I'm so happy with this one. Um, and I'm like, dang, I should have opened it before um, I went down to my boyfriend's house because I definitely would have carried this this weekend. but. It's okay. <laughs> and I think the last thing that I'm gonna show y'all tonight for this part of the vlog is this book I got at Barnes and Noble. Everything I know about parties, dates, friends, jobs, life, love by Dolly Allard Dolly Alderton, a memoir. I just have been looking for this and I picked it up at Barnes and Noble. Um I actually have another book by her called Ghost. I got it like last fall. I haven't read it, but I heard that this is really good. It's kind of thick. It's a lot thicker than what I thought it would be. But yeah, I got this from Barnes & Noble this weekend and that's it. I want to try and like vlog a little bit just throughout the week and maybe have like a big April vlog, but it looks like I'm already kind of going to have a lot of material. So I think maybe I'll have like two vlogs in April, like the first and the second week and then the last two weeks um april's not really busy for me i just do have my lash appointment which i think will be fun to show and then my second attempt at my certification exam is going to be on the 23rd so depending on how much footage i have um just right now and then by the end of the week and the end of next week um it depends that might be a completely different video but yeah it's nice to vlog i haven't done it in a while okay y'all i just got home and changed into some comfy clothes really quickly and the way that the blinds are set up of course you can't see but she just gave me a full set i asked for shorter just because of the glasses situation um and yeah i really like them um they last a really long time this is my second time going to her and i'm just happy to have last extensions back i thought that i wanted to i knew i wanted to take a break just to allow my lashes my natural lashes to kind of just breathe and grow um but i thought that maybe i like didn't want to go back to them because i was you know thinking that i really wanted to wear eyeshadow but i just i don't wear eyeshadow i don't even really wear makeup and this is just really convenient for me but i did want to show you guys some stuff that i got i can get a pair of scissors i got a lavender and chamomile bed spray from amazon it's from the brand i think it's a dreamtology um i just like a good like pillow spray sheet spray um and yeah it's just like a linen mist and i don't know i feel like it just kind of helps me fall asleep so I got that and then my Sephora VIB sale box came in the mail, um, which is really exciting. So I actually only got like one makeup product just because like with work, I mean I really only wear makeup on the weekend. So I got some hair care stuff and some body stuff. Um, this is what I am most excited for. I got some Olaplex products. I have been wanting to try them for so long. Um, but, you know, with hair care, it's kind of like just you never know if it's going to work for you, especially if your hair is curly or, you know, natural. Um, I mean, it is expensive, but I just wanted to try it and since it's a sale I thought there would be no better time so I got the shampoo and conditioner 
and then I got the bonding oil and I'm really excited about this oil I put oil on my hair all the time I have really really dry hair so um, I'm gonna take these braids down tomorrow after school and then I need to see about the shampoo because I kind of need a clarifying shampoo I kind of I have a lot of build up just from gel and then I haven't washed my hair since I've had the braids um, so I don't know if I will use these products when I wash my hair after I take the braids out but I will definitely be using them like the next time if not this time I'm really excited about that and I have to be really sparing with this oil because it is so little this, this the oil I'm used to so got those really excited then I got a re-up of my uh, Sol de Janeiro B shower body wash it's just like my favorite I probably got this like maybe four or five times now I think I'm like on the fifth I'm pretty sure it's I've got it a, a couple of times and um yeah it's just like my favorite body wash it smells just like the lotion so I got that and then also from Sol de Janeiro I got the Brazilian kiss chapstick um I've been using like the Laneige uh lip sleeping mask i use that at night and then they have a like kind of like a uh, like a rub one that i use i can't think of the name like a standard like kind of chapstick chapstick lipstick um and it's i like it it's just like very very hydrating um this is just like pretty much a standard um and so i went ahead and got this and this is probably like my fourth or third or fourth time getting this as well and then the one makeup product that I did get that I just been hearing about is the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. And I just picked this up. It looks really bright. Um, I heard this is just like really full coverage and but really uh, creamy and blendable. So I just wanted to try a new concealer and I hardly um, wear makeup but even on the weekends I haven't been wearing it as often but I just have heard about this concealer so I wanted to try it so that is my little Thursday haul I am waiting for a single one book from book depository I was saying about it in the car I um I've never ordered anything from there and I thought it might be here but it seems like it's been stuck in the Dallas area for a couple of days I was talking about um before I went into my appointment about listening to an audiobook during which is what I do um it takes about two and a half hours to get a full set well probably closer to two and um so I was on script and I was going to listen to November 9 by Colleen Hoover but then when I got into the building and was like getting it all together and putting my headphones in and pressing play it would not start because of the connection so I had to go on audible um and I didn't buy anything, but my boyfriend and I share the account, so we both have a lot of books. We have like 30 books on there, and um, I just started listening to The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I'm probably like three hours in, and um, it's been really good. I started reading that book. I think it was one of the first books I started reading in 2021, if not towards the end of 2022, and I never finished it. I actually got really far, or... I feel like I probably got like 80 to 100 pages in, but it was like three hours worth of listening, even though I still have about six hours left. So I didn't even start listening to Colleen Hoover. I don't know why. It's just not meant for me to listen or read her books because I have been trying, but yeah. I'm probably going to watch like an hour's worth of YouTube. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers have uploaded today their March wrap ups and then I am going to do my first workout of 75 hard today. This is day four. Yeah, started officially on Monday. We just kind of had like a trial day on Sunday, but this is day four. Um, and so it's like seven, but it's super bright outside. So hopefully I get on the treadmill by about eight or 8.30. Last night I didn't get on until like nine yeah it was like crazy late and then i didn't get off until like 9 45 because it has to be two 45 minute workouts and yeah so just trucking along hey y'all it is april 12th tuesday it's about 8 7. um i took my hair down i took my braids down on 
Friday. Um, I recorded a little bit of it, but I just felt like the footage didn't turn out that good. I'm about to go do my 45 minute run. Um, we would be on day 11 of 75 hard, but me and my boyfriend actually failed it. We failed it on Saturday. Um, we went to Houston. I'm a horrible vlogger. I, I should have vlogged it, but we went to Houston and we ended up not um, working out. And it's just, I mean, if you can do it, I commend you, but I think that it is just really hard to maintain. And um, I don't know, I did a really crazy leg workout, but we're still working out. I think we're just gonna try and do it like five days a week and then um, rest on Friday, on Saturday and Sunday, even though we always go run on Sunday. So not really resting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to finish out the vlog and give some updates i got my lashes done and like they're already thinning i don't know why i think it's maybe because my natural lashes were damaged um i'm sure they were because i had those extensions like way too long and i'm sure that they were like you know pulling and damaging on my natural lashes so i have to make sure to um schedule a fill like at the like you know not wait um but it's just really hard because I work like Monday through Friday all day and then sometimes not a lot of like services like that or open that late like I would have to have something that's like at four or five and so it was just kind of difficult to schedule but um, I don't know I'll have to insert a picture but this has never happened to me before um, the bottom of my eyes were like bloodshot red and almost looked bruised i think that maybe the way that the um pads that were used to hold down my bottom lashes i don't know if they were rubbing my eye during the appointment i didn't feel anything but then um i noticed some redness went i'm not like i don't really experience a lot of redness when i get my lashes done or kind of have a re reaction to the glue um but yeah they were like really painful it took a couple of days to feel better I, I took a picture i wanted to show you guys that my book came in that i was waiting for from book depository this is might bite the secret life of a gambling addict by patrick foster with mill mcpherson um i'm pretty sure this is like uk based because i could not get it on amazon i had to order it from book depository and this is pretty much the memoir of somebody who like lost their life or like their life was completely uprooted due to gambling um, and they were a teacher. I already thought it sounded interesting, but when I heard it as a teacher, I was like, what? Like in the education sector, I'm like, okay, I gotta hear about this. Well, I just wanted to pick this up and I think it's gonna be really interesting and I was waiting for it. And I wanted to give y'all some updates on the books that I had been reading. I finished The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I gave it like 4.5 stars. There was just something that I wanted to happen. In the end, that didn't happen, and I felt like the opportunity was there, but I think they wanted to keep it. He wanted to keep it more realistic. It was really good. Um, I might have described the synopsis a little bit already, but it was about a woman named Nora, and she is having a hard time in life, and she decides that she wants to end her life, and then she ends up in the Midnight Library, which is a library that is full of different choices in her life that she can take, and she kind of just plays through each of those choices. I'll give a deeper wrap up in my march wrap up april wrap up yes yeah, april um and then i finished a dowry of blood by st gibson the five stars five stars it was so good um and this is about um dracula and his family his brides and groom and that's all I want to say because I have so many thoughts on that. And right now I'm just looking for another book to read. I started listening to In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife. And I I actually have listened to probably like two hours of it. I don't know what's going on. I, it's not bad. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It splits between two timelines. And like one of the timelines, I'm like, it's, it's, it's yet to build to the point where I'm like understanding why. I, I mean, I still have so much to go. That's why I really don't like audiobooks like that. Like that. I just feel like I get so distracted. Um, but I'm looking for a book to read, you know, in my hands. Usually I just listen to audiobook in the car on the way to work in class and stuff like that. I started reading Exciting Times on Scribd, like the ebook, by, I don't want to mispronounce her name. I'll be 
had a picture. I started reading that book on Scribd ebook and I'm like not into it, but I have it um, in paperback. So I'm thinking that maybe if I read it like that, I'll enjoy it a little bit more. So I am currently on the hunt to figure out what I want to read next. I probably should just read My Bite or um, Everything I Know About Love because those are new. But yeah, I'm about to go get it on the treadmill for 45 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog where I was sitting at my desk the whole time.